live by the Spirit. Okay, third enemy is my adversary. And uh, some of you are thinking, you're not going to talk about the devil, are you? Oh, yes, I am. And I'm not being a drama twinkie. The devil is not the Arizona State, you know, emblem. Very real. Jesus said the devil was real. Jesus, if you believe in Jesus, you must believe in the devil. He said that they, he is the thief who comes to steal and kill and destroy. And the devil hates everything that God has created, so he hates you. And he does not want you to have a healthy relationship with God, and he does not want you to have a healthy relationship with people. If you want to know the devil's strategy, it's to destroy your relationship with God and destroy your relationships with people. Let's read 1 Peter 5.8 to find out how the devil works. Be self-controlled and alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Okay, guys with kids, you've probably seen Animal Planet. I like Animal Planet sometimes when the lions are hunting the zebra. That's when I love watching Animal Planet. And, you know, it's the same scene. You know, there's like a water hole. I mean, the scene has not changed. I mean, when I was little, I watched Marlon Perkins on Wild Kingdom. It's the same scene now. They just keep recycling the scene. It's the water hole you know, on the plains of the Serengeti, and all the animals are there, and then you see these lions sneaking, you know, through the bushes, and then you can see the eyes, right? And the lions know what they're doing. The animals don't. They totally have the leverage in the situation. The lions know they're going to create chaos, get the herd of zebras running, and they're just waiting for that poor zebra to go like that. You know, and then as soon as you see that poor zebra, you know, make the left turn at Albuquerque while everybody goes right, then you know, toast, that zebra is going down, then you kind of scoot up in your chair and, you know, you watch what goes on. Well, you know what, guys? That's how the devil hunts. The fact that you're at this conference, he hates it. He hates that you're sitting at a, 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 at a table with other guys who might share your convictions that you might stay connected to, to grow, because then he can't isolate you and eat you alive. You know when men get eaten alive? is when they're isolated. When they're a legend, as Clint Eastwood says, in their own minds. When they don't need anybody. You know, when they're spiritual castaways. This right here, this is the herd. That's why at Saddleback we call our men's ministry the herd. Because we have this concept that if a guy isn't connected to the herd, then he's isolated. And if he's isolated, you might as well just stamp L on his forehead for lunch. 